development, right? So over here in the sustainable economy, it's a very uh, easy chapter, right? So what we are going to study, first of all, the meaning, economics effect on the development and uh, resources and environment, like what are the effects of basically sustainable development in this? And then we will also discuss about the environment, which is basically we will be talking about the global warming, the causes, consequences and everything. Okay. So you will first note it down the syllabus and then we will start with the chapter. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. Good evening, Harikrit. How are you? Yeah, good, ma'am. Okay, so Harikrit, today we are going to start with a new chapter for Indian economy, right? Okay. Which is the sustainable okay. uh, sustainable economic development, right? Okay. So yes. Tell the syllabus which everybody is writing. So you will just in yeah. the first stage you will write it meaning effects and all, and then we okay. will be uh, like starting it here. So in the class itself, we will be making notes, and along with that, you will also make the notes whichever. Okay. 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 And let me know if uh, you are done. Okay, so that we can move to the chapter. It's for everyone, not only for our group. Okay. Okay, everybody is in? Yes, ma'am. Harikrat, you have written? Yeah, okay. So let's just start. Hmm. So now, first of all, the chapter itself says environment and the sustainable development. Right? So first thing is that, ma'am, what is the sustainable development? Right? So if you are reading this chapter, very first thing, you should be very much aware of the sustainable development because the chapter itself says it. Right? So sustainable development is nothing. For example, So over here, sustainable development, whenever this term comes to your mind, just think utilization. Okay. For example, these are the trees. Right. So over here, these are the people. Right. Two peoples. If they will cut down these trees, of course, there will be the next generation. Yes or no? So over here, 
Yes, is they will cut down these trees for the next generation, which is which are these. They won't be able to use these trees and they won't be getting any oxygen, right? So sustainable development basically means using the current resources, using the current resources in such a way that future generation can also use it. Clear? So over here, sustainable development means utilizing the current resources or using the current resources in such a manner that they future generation can also use them future generation can also utilize them clear so this is what sustainable development is all about right so do the development like i'm not asking you not to use the trees use the trees but don't cut them out don't vanish it right so this is what we are going to study in this chapter right so let's just start so first of all uh, this chapter itself says the name itself says the environment and the sustainable development right so first of all you should know that what is this environment as well because in terms of environment only, we will be doing the sustainable development. So first of all, environment. What is environment, ma'am? Environment is defined as the total planetary inheritance and the totality of all resources. It includes the biotic as well as the abiotic factors. So over here means this is environment, right? In this, you have biotic factors as well as the abiotic factors, okay? So what are biotic factors? You will write this. Biotic factor includes any example like animal, plants and all. And abiotic includes air, water, land, rock, everything. Any two or three examples. So what is environment? It is basically nothing. It's a total planetary inheritance and the totality of all the resources. So whatever resources are present, whether it is biotic or abiotic, when you will combine them, it will form the environment, right? Or whatever resources are available in uh, our surrounding, if you will add them up, they will also lead to the environment. Clear? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. There are two functions basically, right? The first is it supplies resources, right? It supplies resources. Resources both includes renewable and non-renewable resources. Clear? So this is what. Second is it estimates waste, right? So it assimilates waste means in environment itself, nobody is cleaning the environment. Environment itself is assimilating the waste, right? For example, you ate an apple, right? You threw it in the ground. After some time, you will say this apple will be degraded, right? So this is basically what is doing. They are assimilating the weights itself. Then third function is it sustain life by providing genetic and biodiversity. So over here, environment is providing. For example, I am the human being, right? Now environment is providing me trees for the oxygen. Environment is providing the air. Environment is providing me the water. So environment is basically providing me the product that will help me to sustain my life. Right. So this is also an important function of environment. Then it also provides aesthetic services like scenery, etc. Right. For example, you visited the mountain places, right? Or you visit the beach. Why? Just to have the view, just to have the scene. So it is only possible because of the environment. So these are basically the four functions. First function you will write till here, then second function, then third and the fourth functions. Clear? First, you will write functions and role of environment. Uh, okay, first write the meaning of environment. Right? So, meaning of environment. So, environment is this. Biotic element, one or two examples. Abiotic, one or two examples. Then, second heading would be this. Functions of environment. Then, first function, second function, third and fourth. Clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. yes ma Note it down. Let me know once done.
Are students done? No, ma'am. Last one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So now let's just move to the next one. Okay. Now, current environment. Uh, uh, okay, this one is not there in this. Okay. This one is very important. See, the most pressing environment concern of India challenges to the environment in one. Right? So first over here is the threat to Indian environment poses a dictum. So th threat of poverty induced environment degradation and threat of pollution from effluents or and a rapidly growing industrial sector. Clear? So these are the two major threats for Indian environment right now. Okay? But there are some issues which we will be discussing. First is the land degradation. Okay. So land in India suffer from varying degree and types of degradation, steaming mainly from uh, unstable use and inappropriate management practices. So for example, this is a piece of land. If you are not using it in a good way or you are over utilizing it, of course, it will degrade. Right. So this is what. So over here, what are the factors basically that are responsible for land degradation? Loss of vegetation occurring during deforestation. What is deforestation, ma'am? Deforestation is basically... Uh, for example, there is a land over there. These are the forest, right? You will cut them all. So that is basically deforestation. What will be the opposite of deforestation? Who will tell me? Uh, Ma'am, cutting down of the forest. Uh, yeah, this is deforestation, cutting down of trees, right? Yeah. And what will be the opposite of this term deforestation? Deforestation. Yes, afforestation. Okay, afforestation means growing the trees and deforestation means cutting down the trees. Clear? Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. So, first is loss of vegetation occurring during deforestation, unstable fuel, wood and fodder excretion. So, what people are doing basically just for the fuel. Fuel means they burn the tree wood and then they basically cook food or do something. So this is what basically that they are using this wood as a fuel as well. So that's why it leads to land degradation, shifting cultivation. What is shifting cultivation, ma'am? For example, the uh, what people basically do, for example, this is my one land and this is one another piece of land. I will grow the crops here, right? Then I'll cut them down, right? Then what I will do? I'll burn this, right? So burning will basically lead to degradation of land. And then I'll move to the next square, like this. So that is called sifting cultivation. They burn the land, then they move to next place. Then they burn, 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 and they move to. That is called sifting cultivation, right? So because of that also, this is happening, land degradation. Then encroachment in the forest land. So people are basically going there where there are restricted forests and they are basically cutting down the trees. They are, you know, utilizing the forest resources, so many things. Then forest fires and overgrazing. Sometimes uh, due to natural causes and human-made causes as well, forest forest catch fires and even overgrazing. Overgrazing means that sometimes what human beings see basically uh, to their pet animals, they basically visit forests and over there they graze, let them graze, right? And sometimes they do overgrazing. So for example, this is a land, these are the grasses. So what basically animal do? They pull it, right? They cannot cut it, they pull it. So with the grass itself, with the root itself, the soil comes out. That is basically called degradation of soil. Okay, so these are basically the reason for the land degradation. Okay. And then non-adaptation of adequate soil conservation measure. People are not using the adequate soil conservation measure. They should use it. Improper crop rotation is there. Indiscriminate use of agrochemicals such as fertilizers and pesticides. People are using the pesticides, fertilizers in very large amount. Because of this, what will happen? Automatically, the land will degrade. Okay. Then there is no planning, there is no management of the irrigation. Sometimes what happened basically there is overflow of water in the soil and along with the water, the nutrients of the soil also wash up it, right? Then excretion of groundwater in excess of the recharge capacity, open excess resource, poverty of the agriculture dependent people. These are basically 
that leads to land degradation clear so first problem is land degradation now coming to second one is biodiversity loss okay so over here basically what happened india supports appro approximately 17% of the world human and 20% of the livestock population on a mean 2.5% of the world geographical area right so the high density of population and livestock and the competing use of land for forestry agriculture human settlement and industry exert an enormous purpose a pressure on the country finite land resources right for example this is the piece of land over here three people the over here they have three chairs okay so these three people are basically having one one chair now automatically what happened the resources are three three chairs only but now three more people came right so now what they will do one earlier it was like one chair one person but now here be one chair two person yes then automatically three more people came so already here now six people are here right now three more came so now it is one chair three people right so what is happening basically and one time will come when the chair will broke out right because of the over pressure yes or no yes or yes, no right yes ma'am so this is what basically that yeah. basically is biodiversity loss right so you will only write this point that because of high density population right but the resources are very limited right so because of this what is happening on the country's land resource the enormous pressure is basically building up and which leads to biodiversity loss clear then third problem okay. is soil erosion okay so soil erosion is basically the quality of nutrients lost due to erosion each year is increasing day by day clear so you will write this only the quality of nutrients lost due to erosion each year is increasing day by day clear for soil erosion next is air pollution with specific reference to vehicular uh, vehicular pollution in urban areas right so over here in india air pollution is widespread in urban area where vehicles are the major contribution and in a few other areas which have high concentration of industries and thermal power plant right so this is what you will write okay so this is what basically the vehicular emission are of particular concern since these are ground level source and thus have the maximum impact on the global population clear so these are the two point basically now remember one thing if somebody will ask you what are the environment related problem that india is facing or something right so first you will mention it like this right and then you will write specifically like land degradation the reasons are there right second you will write biodiversity loss this soil erosion this air pollution this clear okay ma'am so these are basically yes, the problem which are which are these are the problem related to environment which india is basically facing so you will write the most pressing environment concern of india or challenges this will be your heading and then you will write till here okay and then you will write from this the priority issues identified as per land degradation and you will write till here and the points like this okay so first okay. start writing okay okay in case you feel, feel like ma'am what to write just ask me that ma'am whether that we have to write this line or not okay 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 ma'am is environmental crisis not the three portion environment crisis is not a part of the syllabus you can okay, see the syllabus uh, in the syllabus itself we will be doing sustainable economy development its meaning the effect of economic development resource and environment right the effects only and the global warming okay ma'am because in school they taught us that yes we will be doing it but only the gist part in the end right okay, but that is not going to come in the detail okay 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 that we will be doing uh, environment crisis in terms of sustainable development okay okay ma'am
डन मैम एवरीवन इज डन यस मैम यस मैम ओके If anyone is not done, you can let me know, okay? Okay. So now this one, and then for biodiversity loss, you have to write this only the second point, okay? And so, okay, write these, and then I'll tell you for soil erosion.
gentlemen.